So we're back in the woods. Uh, see, I had my frame. I had my frame in this wee clearing here. Right there. And the path's just over there. It's about 50 metres that way. And people walk by up and down the path, especially with the lockdown. People, a lot more people are using the woods now. And I can't really try to tear up too well. Uh, people see it, they walk by and they'll see it. So I've moved my frame into the woods here, into the trees a bit. So I took it down and I moved it over here. Surprisingly, how quick you can take it down and put it up. Must have did it in about seven, eight minutes. Anyway. This is where I've put it, and what I'm going to do is uh, try the liner out for size, because I've not actually tried the liner, I've just made it and hoping for the best, if it fits. So that's what I'll do now, put the liner on. So this is the liner, and the idea behind the liner is put the liner on and when you put the door the front panel for the door on it sits up here so that folds folds don't fall onto the tent and then it gets tied on the back panel goes on and these two get tied together uh, so that any folds don't fall into the tent and then you've just got this liner on the inside uh, which ties all on it's just a big cotton uh, dust sheet painter's dust sheet but it gives the ex extra insulation as well uh, but that's the idea it, so that uh, the tent, the front panel doesn't fall in here because you'd need to tie it up quite a lot if you didn't have this on so it'll rest on top of this uh, and then the big cover, the main cover goes on top of that again so that's uh, the idea of the, the liner uh, plus it gives you added insulation, another layer, and that is it. So the other day when I was in the woods trying out my big blue cover, it was a really wintry day, well no wintry, stormy, and really strong winds I know you didn't sort of see that in the video but I was right in the middle of the woods getting protection however this big branch here must be about 20 feet snapped off the top of that tree up there snapped off the top of that and come flying down and landed in the ground and it must have went in about six, six or seven inches into the ground so much that's another big branch that's fell off the tree snapped off of there snapped off of that it just shows you the wind that was here and you didn't even notice it was windy when it, where I was but it was windy 